Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for May 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general reading. Yes, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Just go ahead and email me and I'll get you all set up. Yeah. All right. So for your month of May, I'm doing things a little bit the same, but a still a little bit different. Yes, I'm going back to starting with the message first and then afterwards I'm gonna pull some Oracle guidance for you but instead of using the Oracle of the unicorns this month I'm going with the crystal mandala deck yes for a little bit of some more charged um, a, a little more in-depth guidance for you guys sorry those are my neighbors don't worry about it it's a lovely Saturday here in the city yeah all right cool so let's just get straight to it uh, cancer sorry I just did the Gemini reading but cancer yes cancerians Woo. okay let's do it Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for all involved for May 2019. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Geminites. Wow. Gemini. No. Cancer. Um, I don't know why. Okay, here's the thing, Cancer. As I'm channeling your energies here, I'm seeing purple. Now, um, Gemini, whose reading I just did, their oracle card was Amethyst. Uh, it came out as Amethyst. Uh, some of you may want to watch that reading. Just like while I was doing the Gemini reading, it came through that some may want to watch the Taurus reading. Now, Uranus is in Taurus, so anybody, everybody might want to watch that reading. But I feel like for some of you, there's some sort of connection here. Either you're dealing with a Gemini or you have Gemini energy in your chart or there's a ma major placement that's going on with Gemini for you. But I'm seeing purple as I'm doing, as I'm channeling your energies here. And here's the other thing about it. Purple is divine wisdom. And as I was doing the pre-shuffle, the devil and the tower showed themselves. Now, don't freak out. Some of you may be dealing with a tower moment here that um, has to do with some sort of devil energy, codependency, toxicity, addiction, something like that. Um, for some of you, you're really breaking away, breaking free from some sort of really toxic environment, toxic cycle, toxic situation, a narcissistic energy entity, um, just a toxic relationship. Um, and that would be the tower energy. Now, ultimately, whether you've been through this already or whether you're going through it now, it feels great because your energy just feels so calm. And I just feel like you're peaceful. You're absolutely at this point where it's like, damn, I'm finally free of that. I can breathe. Okay. So that would be where the purple energy is coming from because, or it could be at least, because in that lies divine wisdom. Yes. All right, Je oh, gosh, I'm doing it again. Cancer, 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 cancer. I'm so sorry, guys. Like I see, I'm seeing your, en like I'm channeling your energy. I don't know why I keep saying Gemini. Cancer. All right, Cancer. I'm gonna give this three more shuffles and then we'll see what we've got here. Some of you are de in fact dealing with a Gemini. or there's just strong placement in your chart. Okay, Cancerian energy, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Gonna give this three shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got here. That's one. Cancerian energy, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Last shuffle, guys. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. All right, y'all. Oh, but you know what? Also, in Eastern astrology, some of you really are actually Geminis. So there's that. <laughs> okay. Boop. All right. Cancer. Overall energy. You've got the Empress. Beautiful. Luxurious. Venus Venetian energy. Venusian energy. Um, Venus energy. The Mother. The Empress. Uh, abundance. 
sex. <laughs> Be, I don't, I'm just, I, ooh, I'm picking out keywords here that are representative, representative of the Empress energy that I'm getting from this right now. It's just beauty all around. I really just kind of feel like you could be dealing with a Tauran energy, maybe an Aries energy. But I just kind of feel like this is you, Cancer, just sitting on your throne, just beautiful, vibrant. Some of you may be trying to get pregnant, which is beautiful. Uh-oh, but then there's the Five of Swords. Hmm. Mmm, Two of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles is underneath that. This is very interesting, Cancer. Um, I feel like, yes, there is some sort of chaos and destruction around you. Maybe some sort of competition here with this Five of Swords energy. Um, I probably should close my window now. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. That's a little better. Honestly, what I'm getting with this, first, first of all, I really kind of feel like you are very unbothered <laughs> by what's going on here. Or maybe you, you, you're trying to be unbothered by this. There's some sort of competition, Five of Swords, and it's probably over a relationship, Two of Cups. And ultimately, someone's about to get left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. And I really, honestly, Cancer, with this Empress energy, I feel like you're incredibly unbothered by it. Like, you're not even trying to be a part of this competition or this, like, backstabbing one-upmanship, blah, blah, blah. But it's just kind of, like, happening around you, and you're just like, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Now, this also could be something that happened in the past. This could be the energy you're rising up as the Empress here through whatever you've been through in the past, probably having to do with a relationship with this Two of Cups. But ultimately, what I do feel like is this energy that you're coming out of, you may have felt left out in the cold in the past. You may have been backstabbed, sabotaged, whatnot, whatever in the past. But you found a greater sense of union here with this Two of Cups, which is allowing you to sit in this Empress energy just like completely unbothered at this point, okay? All right, so let's get into the energies here. The first half of the reading. Now, you can look at this as the first half of your month and the second half of your month, or you don't have to. I mean, I would recommend just letting it flow. Energies are fluid. Time is an illusion, okay? So, like, just let it be. First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. We've got... King of Swords. This King of Swords has come out for Taurus and Gemini, all right? Those are the two other readings that I just did today. Um, see, but this is also why you're unbothered. Objectivity. Seeing things as they truly are. Especially if you're caught up in some sort of situation in which you're dating someone and now you're finding yourself in competition for them, you're just kind of like, whatever. First of all, it's not even that serious. Second of all, if you want him, take him. If you want her, take her. I mean, it's not like I can't find someone else. At the same time, though, it's not like you're completely so nonchalant that you're not willing to fight for something, but you're also seeing it for what it truly is. You're seeing the situation for what it is, and I guess you're kind of picking your battles wisely. Like you're not entertaining every little thing that is thrown at you, you know? You could also, you could be dealing with an Aquarian or a Libra. And this also could be you. We're talking Gemini. Er, no, we're not talking Gemini. We're talking Cancer. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Cancer. But um, you could be dealing with a Gemini also. Okay. A uh, King of Swords is coupled with, ooh, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. So there you go. Slow and steady wins the race. You're not really trying to rush into anything. And, 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 and honestly, this is kind of why you're, pretty nonchalant about the situation because things are building around you. You're slowly and steadily building and you're, it's almost like either you or maybe someone you're connecting with, they're kind of like you or they are just kind of watching things happen, picking your battles wisely and just taking things for what they are and not getting too invested in like the little stuff. Uh, roommates, if you're hearing stuff in the background, okay? Yeah. 
But actually, this is a good energy. This is a really good energy to have. In the face, especially in the face of whoop, of this, the five of swords. Like I almost, it, it I just kind of like flew out of my hand and fell on my lap as I was trying to pick it up. So I really do feel like you are not bothered by that energy. You see straight through it, okay? And this doesn't have to be just a relationship. This could be job, this could be a job, this could be a friendship, this could be a creative partnership, this could be anything, all right? It's a general reading, take it as it resonates. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. You've got A now, the emperor. So you have the counterparts here between the emperor and the empress. Oh my God, not Gemini, Cancer. Why do I keep doing that? Some of you really are dealing with the Gemini. You have Gemini energy somewhere. There's some sort of Gemini influence. But we're talking cancer here. But you have the emperor and the empress. Again, you are not bothered because you are in control of your situation, cancer. Okay? And like I said, you're not afraid to take action when you need to. But also, you're keeping your wits about you and choosing your battles wisely. All right, cancer. That's really beautiful. Th yeah, power, strength, autonomy. Really being in your sacred space and honoring it you could be dealing with an aries the emperor is coupled with <laughs> boop the ace of swords truth and clarity i mean damn cancer <laughs> all right now this is beautiful this is i mean there really is I guess I want to say that there could be some information that's coming forward or maybe that you've already figured out or seen, experienced, assimilated, that is allowing you to really stand in your power. And take control. Maybe even take some sort of action, Cancer, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading here from a Cancerians, you've got the Three of Pentacles. All right. Teamwork. Working together. That does feel like a little bit of a challenge, though, because it feels like people are being quite petty around you. Or maybe at least have been. But also, the challenge here is to keep yourself, in a sense, a deep sense of self-mastery. So um, maybe it's that you're learning to pick your battles or choose your battles wisely in this situation, or you've already kind of learned this lesson and now you're just like putting it into practice. Yes? Three of Pentacles is coupled with Knight of Cups. Being, being heart-centered, yeah? And absolutely, that would be what the King of Swords would represent. Even though the King of Swords is not at all focused on any sort of emotional aspect of the situation, it's still an energy where you are centered in your heart space and you're compassionate. But you're keeping yourself in a sense of, in a state of self mastery and under wraps, under control here with the king, with the emperor, the king of swords, the ace of swords. You know what I mean? Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, you've got, ooh, there's that care and compassion, the queen of cups. It's also the empathy and the unconditional love. So especially if you're dealing with a relationship situation in which you're finding there's competition, it's not even like, you're really even all that mad about it. You're just very understanding, very compassionate, and you're very much going with the flow, but you're also, also this is you, Cancer. This is your archetype, the Queen of Cups. You're keeping your emotions under wraps, balanced, okay? That's awesome. Queen of Cups is coupled with the Four of Wands, beautiful. Um, if you are dealing with some sort of relationship situation, I do feel like it's going to balance out quite well. The more compassion and the care that you show, the greater your chances of things really moving in your favor is kind of what I feel like is happening here. But you're just grounded and secure and firm also in your own space, in your own energy with the Queen of Cups, okay? Excellent. Getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got, ooh, the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, you also could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio, between the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups here, but um, deep soul searching is the name of the game here. 
Many of you actually may have gone through that already, experienced that, and that's what's helping you be in this balanced state between the emperor and the empress. For others of you, this situation is influencing you or inspiring you to go within somehow to follow your own light, to follow your own truth. There is a deep sense of just being okay with you. And that's also making this, this competition element that I'm feeling with this, some sort of relationship or whatnot, not even bothering you. Because ultimately, ultimately, it's like, yes, okay, I am willing to fight for what I want and to, to fight for what I love and for what I stand for. But I also I'm aware and enough, I'm self-aware enough to know that I don't have to prove anything to anybody. Either you can follow me or you don't. No skin off my nose. That's your choice. I, I mean, I can't even, I can't make that choice for you. So why should I care? <laughs> there you go, Cancer. That's beautiful. Uh, the hermit is coupled with, ooh, death. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Your perspective has changed, Cancer. Woo! And if it hasn't changed already, it's coming. It is coming. And it's from some real deep soul searching, getting down to the bottom of things. For, for many of you, this is seeing through the illusion, seeing through the bullshit, going on your own personal journey of understanding and enlightenment and coming out on the other side like, damn, how could I have ever believed anything else in the past? Booyah, bitches. Ew, cancer. Second set of surrounding energies for you. We've got the Three of Swords. Okay. But in this energy, like sitting in your energy right now, I see the Three of Swords and I'm just like, yeah, par for the course. How are we going to learn anything if we don't go through some heartbreak every once in a while? This really kind of feels like past energy. And even if it's not such past energy, it's a situation in which it's like, uh, I get it. I'm not too broken up about it. I mean, it might be a little bit, it might have been a little bit of a shock. It just, yes, because now Spirit's reminding me of the, the flyers that came out in the pre-shuffle, um, which were the tower and the devil. And so related to this, I feel like it's like, well, the heartbreak is behind you. This just feels like an energy in which you learned through the heartbreak, especially following the hermit and the, the devil, not the devil, the death energy. It's like, <clears throat> it's like this heartbreak is what is the catalyst that pushed you into this sense of deep self-discovery. Three of Swords is coupled with Ten of Pentacles. Lesson learned, you could say. For some of you, you were in a, in a, a relationship for a very, very long time. It was a long-standing relationship that ultimately crumbled, but it needed to. And in, as a result, lessons have been learned. And what this is also saying is that whatever you learned or whatever heartbreak you have dealt with, um, or maybe even currently dealing with, is setting you up to gain what you want in the long term. All right, so just get through it. You got this, Cancer. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you've got Six of Pentacles balance, reciprocity, not over giving. I kind of feel like that's what the energy was in that devil energy that came out in the beginning in the pre-shuffle, um, over giving. Cancerians can do that. They're just very giving, loving people, especially when it comes to like family or people they consider to be family, close friends, relatives, that, whatever, that kind of thing. Like the challenge here is learning the balance between give and take. Um, reciprocity, they just said again. Um, assimilating or integrating that lesson. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the High Priestess. Uh, it's interesting because I'm looking at her energetically and she's saying, do you get it now? Do you understand what we've been trying to teach you, dear child? Do you get it now? Should we run this again? Would you like to? We can. You just let me know. I'm here to help teach you. I'm here to serve says the High Priestess. The universe, for some of you, the universe has been trying to teach you this lesson for a very long time, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can fail billions and billions and billions of times. It does not matter. Time is an illusion. You, are, you have infinite amount of time to learn what it is you need to learn. And there is never any judgment. If you don't make it, if you don't pass, whatever, just try it again. 
You're going to get it eventually. That's really all that matters, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Cancer. You've got the Six of Cups. Soulmates, deep soulmate bonds. Um, okay, for some of you, the past is really, really significant. In order to really learn this lesson, you have to go back into the past and see potentially where it started, the root of the situation. For childhood, in childhood for most of you, or for some of you even, whatever, take it as it resonates. The past is key here, is what I'm getting. Six of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Six of Cups is coupled with Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, looking to the past to help you complete the work of the now. Looking for the seed of whatever it is that you are dealing with, whatever energy lesson you're trying to learn here. That's going to help you do the work now. It's almost like it's the missing link. Okay, Cancer? Yes, for some of you, it is the missing link. It's that one thing that you feel like you, has, you haven't been able to get a grasp on to help you change the cycle or change what you're experiencing, what you're learning. Help you learn this lesson. And that's where the hermit energy comes into play. Also with death. As soon as you find that, it's going to transform anything, everything, and you're really going to be able to do that work to complete the cycle. Yes? Okay, Cancer. Let's get into your oracle guidance here, your oracle message for your month of May 2019. All right, Cancer. Let's see what we've got for you. From a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There it is. Look at you, Cancer. Card number 16, uh, Angel Balthiel and Rose Quartz. Heart healing. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> All right, let's read a little bit of this for you guys. From a Cancer fan. All right. We bring you the gift of heart healing. Over many lifetimes, your beautiful heart has loved and lost and loved again. You have learned how to feel joy, pain, suffering, and bliss. Your wise heart knows that life is filled with darkness and light, and it chooses to love the divine and participate in life anyway. You might worry that your heart has been stretched beyond its limit, become closed or broken, yet your heart is filled with divine grace, power, and of course, love. It can and will heal itself to love again, bigger, bolder, and braver than ever before. Do not doubt the healing power of your heart. There is power in your heart to heal through struggle into joy, and your heart has the gift of helping to heal others with love. Your open, kind heart helps soothe others, bringing comfort and reassurance to the world. Trust your heart and let it heal and guide you into the most beautiful and loving divine destiny waiting for you. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's beautiful, Cancer. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, don't hesitate to email me. Yes, I hope you guys have a great May and I look forward to connecting with you again next month for June. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.